is a chronicle of my personal experience exploring the real life equivalent of Initial D. This is real street racing and drifting in the mountain roads of Gunma. This is Drift Hunter. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go out drift hunting tonight all the way in Haruna. It's gonna be pretty dope. Hopefully there's not too much rain and I think it's gonna be great. So super excited, keep watching. Jeez, okay, super bad luck. I went all the way up to Harna and the Mercedes was like showing like no gas because this car is stupid. Came back down, getting gas now. Gonna try to go back up. Hopefully there are people still there. Thank you, Ineos, for being open. So passed by like all these different gas stations. They're all closed, even including one that should have been open, but fortunately this one is open. And no thanks to this stupid car. Ugh. So it's super, super, super foggy tonight. Actually, it's more like we're in a cloud and making my way over towards the other side of Harina where some of my drifter friends are hanging out. the melody road so Gunma is famous for having several of them and when you when you drive past them it's like a vinyl record it makes a sound is it this place oh it 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 after some searching we finally made it to the drift toge where I had planned to meet up with some friends While in the anime, as in real life, street races occurred on the toge between Shibukawa City and Lake Akina, the drift scene takes place in several surrounding toges. This one, leading down to Haruna Shrine, is one of the most popular. Because this is the actual drift spot at Mount Haruna, I consider these guys the current, real-life version of the Akina Speedstars. To me, they are the Haruna Speedstars even though they don't go by that name but they are really just the last in the long lineage of Hashiria that tore up these streets in the 90s. In fact, as much as we in the West are influenced by Initial D, they were influenced by their senpai and their parents, who 20 years ago lived through the golden era of JDM. And these guys are super, super fast. It's super foggy, so it's even a little bit uh, like wet. The road is really wet, but that doesn't matter for these guys because they just go hard. They hit the pavement, doesn't matter what the conditions are. In fact, I think, when you have adverse conditions like this, they, they get even faster because once they get used to these roads and like these conditions, when they have like a, like a, clear, a clear day, uh, when the road isn't wet, when it's not raining, when it's not foggy, then they become super, super fast. There's a bunch of cool cars here. Everyone's just really, really chill. And it's pretty cool because now people kind of know me and they're just like, oh, hey, it's Drift Hunter. And in fact, they're like, oh, please take, uh, please, please shoot my car. And so it's it's really cool. How old, how old, how times can these tires? This one? Yeah. Well, maybe rain, rain day, almost two hours. When, yeah. But when it's not raining, almost like thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. <laughs> it's you. Fuck <laughs> green. These tires. What are you going to do today, so how, how how long did it take you to use these up? This one? Yeah. Okay. I used from like last week. Whoa. <laughs> Alright, here's another um Hashiya spec, I think it is. So you know they like to say with the cute ones. It none that mean like a kawaii or like Kawaii kara. Kawaii kara. Cute. 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 Yeah, yes Yes are ヒーリング。ヒーリング。ヒーリング。あ、これ、あ、藤原トフテ。あ、これ、これこそいいんじゃないですか。藤原トフテ。あ、出た。86 
やってるじゃないですか。で、その週末とかにみんなでこういう集まってワイワイするとわわなんていうんですか忘れられるじゃないですか。ああ、なんか仕事のこととか。はい。そうそうそうそうあれヒーリング。あ、ヒーリング。ハートヒーリング。超えちゃいけないって。<笑> All right, so basically, you got to change the tires after several runs. We were lucky because it's raining, so you get about two hours out of the tires. But when the ground is dry, you're lucky if you get 30 or 40 minutes. So this is a very, very expensive hobby. It's, it's crazy how much the guys love what they do, and they're willing to spend you know, their hard-earned cash, their hard-earned money on such an expendable item as like these tires, which go so fast. So this is held together by zip ties. Actually, are you gonna do a run? Can I? I want to take a shot from up there. Okay. So I'm gonna go up sure. and I'll, I'll pull from up there. Okay. So I'm gonna go up here and take a take a video from up there. ここに足をかけて、はい、足かけて、で、こう、結構滑るんですけど、はい、気をつけていってもらえれば。On my boots. Oh, no, my Tim's all dirty. So I'm gonna hop into into this S14 again, go for a quick ride. How do you like this uh, S14? Yeah, it's really good. I like it's it. Good. Easy to drift? Yeah, it's really easy. It's on now almost 300 horsepower. So yeah. It's so easy. Okay, let's go. I guess the emperors are here to scope out the competition. Sometimes they think I'm literally living in an anime. Alright, how did you start this life? Uh, I start from like grip. My friends start in drift, so I was trying to drift. So yeah. I can't drift, so I just start to drive like grip. Yep. And my friends all they start to drifting. Oh, it's gonna race? S2000? Maybe.
For the past five years, I've been working on penetrating the Japanese toge drifting scene. Gunma is one of the last areas of Japan where drifting is still a popular activity with some of the local youth. Perhaps it's because of the prevailing influence of Initial D that they feel a strong draw towards the mountains. Or perhaps it's because they're merely continuing an actual heritage, like father, like son. <laughs> Alright, gonna take a run in this automatic crown. We've never ridden in a car that's automatic being drifted. Japanese drift style. The subculture of drifting is disappearing here in Gunma. I know this because over the past seven years, I have seen less and less young people out on the toge. It used to be a whole row of 30 to 40 cars here, now it's just a handful. That's why I think it's so important to document the scene while it's still around. This might be one of the last few generations of Japanese toge hashiriya. I hope in this video I was able to show you what these guys are really like. While the media is quick to demonize street racers as being a public menace, to me, they aren't scary or crazy or dangerous. They're just young kids who dare to live outside of the strict norms of Japanese society. They dare to be different and to carry on the history of their subculture. And they are really incredibly talented too. This culture is so interesting and I hope that I was able to convey the happy, chill vibe that I felt hanging out with the speed stars of Haruna. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, once again, thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks to my patrons for supporting this project. And if you haven't been following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me because all these stories will show up on Instagram first a long time before these actually go on YouTube. So thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. How could you know don't say I didn't say so?
Hey guys, it's Alba. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if this is your first time on my channel, thank you for giving my content a chance and watching all the way to the end. My goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers this year, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. For those of you guys who have been following me for a while, you might be wondering what's up with this new logo over here. Here? No, over here. The Hunters is basically my new parent brand for Drift Hunter, which is especially fitting since I've moved to Tokyo and I'll be exploring car culture beyond the drifting scene. I'm also really excited about some new clothing releases which you can check out at my merch store right here, thehunters.com. One of the things I'm most excited about are these new coach jackets. So check it out. The Drift Hunter logo is embroidered. It's really, really nice. You can also find sweaters and hats and t-shirts like you've always been able to. I'm planning to release a lot more cool stuff so please make sure to check out the site and make sure to use the code word BANANA10 to get 10% off your order. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.